I'm Doug from Douglas Engineering, and this is a, a 2001 and a half Dodge Viper. It's a Le Mans version. It originally started its life as a fastback, um, and we've done some conversions on the car. One of the things we notice that all Vipers, Gen 1s and Gen 2s, suffer is number 7 and 8 cylinders leaning out. And we've remedied a lot of it by making a brand new intake manifold, but we're also finding that the Gen 3s and Gen 4s don't suffer from this. And after we looked at the airflow on the inside of the intake manifold, we discovered that the throttle bodies were actually placed at a 7 degree angle. So what we're doing is we're putting these spacers underneath the throttle bodies. And as you can see, they're cut at a 7 degree angle. And they're going to go ahead and drop these throttle bodies back down. And after we've made a few runs, we'll check the, the color of number 7 and 8 plugs and see what they look like. This engine's a little different than most other engines, but you see how these throttle bodies sit dead flat on the face of the intake? What we're going to do is take these and we're going to roll them down. Not only are we going to do the uppers, but we're going to do the lowers at the same time. And we're going to check the airflow on the heads by doing a plug test on number 7 and 8 plugs. And we'll see if the color of the plugs makes a difference. We're believing that the air actually comes and turns inside the manifold and starves these two cylinders just a little bit. The only thing that's really different about the intake design is the Gen 3s have this 7 degree angle downward for their throttle bodies. So we're going to put it on a Gen 2 and see what it does.